Uh, hi, in this screencast, I'd like to show you how to um, save a text file into an Excel spreadsheet. Click on the Office button and uh, you need to open your uh, text file through and within Excel as uh, just click the open button here and navigate to the directory or folder where your text file is located. You may not immediately see the file that you're looking for and for that you need to uh, change the files of type selection as shown here to show all files and then you can see your text file. Now open the file you'd like to import by either double clicking it or just selecting it and selecting open. You should see this text import wizard here. You can import your data in one of two ways. One is when your data is delimited or separated by certain characters like commas or tabs. And the other way is if your data is uh, such that every column has a fixed width, um, like for example, social security numbers or uh, dates and so on, where each date or each social security number has a fixed common width, then you can use the second option. In this example, our data is separated by commas and so we're going to use the delimited option. In our case, our data is delimited by tabs and so that's what we're going to choose. But sometimes you have data that has uh, delimiters like commas or semicolons or other characters so you should choose that other character um, as appropriate if you have chosen the appropriate delimiter you should see your data already separated in the text import wizard as you can see below with each column uh, separated by a separate line Now you can do a little formatting of the uh, titles uh, here. I'm just going to select all the titles uh, like uh, the years and uh, so on. And I'm going to bold it and center it and enlarge the text a little bit. If you cannot see the text in the leftmost column, you can always drag and resize the column width. Sometimes the data in the table is not aligned properly. So here I'm just selecting all the data and right aligning it to each cell. And the final step is to save your data as an Excel file. Uh, if you do not do that, then you will not have the benefit of having saved your file in Excel. Click the Office button on the top left and click Save As. Choose the appropriate folder. Give your file an appropriate name. And most importantly, be sure to save your file as Type Excel Workbook, uh, the latest version of Excel or whatever version you'd like. If you don't do this, then your file is not getting saved as an Excel file. And, uh, you know, next time you open it, you might have problems. And that's it. Now you have imported a um, document, uh, a text file into your Excel spreadsheet and you can do fun stuff with it. Thanks.